of God, we began on dynamics of greatness. We said a lot of things. One of which we said was, you know, God wants you and me to be great. Amen. Second Timothy 2, 20 and 21. In a great house, there are verses of gold, verses of silver, there's wood and there's clay. So what that means is, anytime we gather together, it is for us to actually identify the areas of giftings that God wants us to be great with and in and then we purify you know those gifts like gold to be relevant to the kingdom and then to our world we said the world defines greatness as you having to achieve you know you know giant strides you know attend magnificent feats accomplishments you know High, high quality, high standards, you know, that's greatness, all right, for the world. Like uh, Bro Sam was sharing with us last week, you know, people like uh, Einstein, Thomas Edison, you know, the Wright brothers, all those people that achieve great things, they are seen as great people, okay? And that's one thing a white man loves to do. He loves adventure. He loves exploring. He wants to be the first to do something, all right? Was it, is it Neil Armstrong now, the first man to visit the moon? Is that the name? I think so. All right. They love to explore, you know, all these things. But we said for us in the kingdom, when we say, when we say greatness, we said greatness is living by every word of God. Did we? Did we say that? Greatness is what? Greatness is living by every word of God. Matthew 4.4. 4. The Bible speaking said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Are we together? So, for example, if the Bible said, You shall flourish like a palm tree and grow like the cedar in Lebanon. It is possible your life may be full of struggles, you know, and challenges. So it's now for you to actually, you know, tie yourself around that word to see it come to pass. Are we together? If it comes to pass, that is greatness. Amen. For example, if the Bible said, you know, without holiness, no one can see the Lord. Okay? If you tie yourself around that word, it's possible nobody may even clap for you. But in the eyes of the world, it may not be great. But in the eyes of God, you are a great man. Are we together? Man shall not live by bread alone. And I remember last week, I was making emphasis. I said, any man that wants to be great in this life, all right? That is one thing you must actually look out for. Bread, that's food. Are we together? People that are great are people that don't make food the Lord of their lives. Amen? And then the second thing is sleep. We said a lot of things. Are we together? And then we said, for us to be great in the kingdom way, Matthew, you know, spoke about that. Mark also spoke about that. But particularly, I think Mark 10, 35 to 45, when they began arguing, they began saying things, you know, who is the greatest in the kingdom of God, blah, 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 you know. The other person was saying, can you grant me sit on your right and on your left? And Jesus said, can you bring, drink the cup? I will drink. They said, yes, we are going to drink. We can. 
said, okay, if you want to, it's not mine to grant, it's my father's to grant. But he said, whoever that wants to be great among you have to first of all be your servant. Amen. So we said, one way to be great in the kingdom is through power service. Amen. Power, power service. Are we together? And we said leadership is not about, you know, looking for positions and all that. Leadership is actually about service. Amen. You come to that point in your life where your time, your talent, your treasure, and everything about you is dedicated to God. Amen. For example, you know, some of you go to churches, you know, your church, you're a worker, you know. To some, it may look as if you are wasting your time, as if you don't have anything to do with it. But do you know what service is to you? It's pathway to greatness. Are we together? You know, you have things to do. But you are here, you know. After the service, you know, some of you move things here and there and everything. It's all service. Are we together? That's to God. And then we said also service to humanity. Did we say that? Did we say that? We said the lowest form of living is for you to live for yourself. Amen. Did we did we say that? The lowest form of living is to live for yourself. We, if you truly want to be great, we said find a purpose higher than you and then connect to it. And I was giving an example of people like Mother Teresa, all right, a Catholic nun. You know, even though she was well to do, but she didn't do what other Catholic nuns were doing. Rather, she looked for the poorest of the poor, people that could not feed themselves, couldn't clue themselves. And then she was using all that she has. And then she was actually, you know, catering for the poor. And other Catholic nuns that were coming after her actually took, you know, after her steps. And I remember saying to us, I said, a millionaire is not a man that has a millionaire. A millionaire is a man that has touched a million lives. Are we together? We said service is not only, you know, a responsibility. It is also a privilege. It is also a privilege for God to count you, for God to count you, for God to count you worthy, you know, of all the people, you know, that exist in this world. And then he calls you by himself to come serve and be in his house. It's actually, actually a privilege. Hallelujah. Pastor Joe, you're welcome. Amen. So we're going to continue today. Part two of it is the part two of greatness. All right? Child of God, you see, to be great is not hard. Are we together? To be great is not hard at all. If you want to be great, just follow the guidelines that great people have followed. And then you yourself, you'll be great. Are we, are we together? There are principles of greatness. For example, Okay, let me say Oedipo, all right? Oedipo is a great man. I'm just using that as an example, okay? If the principle he followed, I follow same. If it is not magic, then it means it can be replicated. Are we together? Let me use another figure. Ben Carson, okay, even though he's retired now, a medical doctor, a neurosurgeon, okay? That have blessed life so much. If the principles that Ben Carson followed, if anybody follows it, you will replicate the same. Are we, are we together? Are we together? So, tell of God, you see, there is greatness locked up on the inside of you. Okay? So, these things we are looking at are the things that can actually unlock the greatness of God on your inside. Okay? We look at service last week. Today, what we are going to be looking at is honor. Somebody say honor. Somebody say honor. Say honor. All right, quickly. Malachi chapter 1 number 6. Shana mana tenda lina konze gedina konde lena makayas Reka bo shana mana te lia noze dia noze lia kadam bazana na 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 hea Malakai chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 Hallelujah Are we, are we there? Okay, since I have the mic, let me read for us Malakai 1 6 to 8 Malachi chapter 1 verse 6 to 8. Are we there? The Bible said, A son honored his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Say the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name, and ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? 
ye offer polluted bread upon my altar, and ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that ye say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer blind sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now to your governor. Will he be pleased with thee or accept thy person? Say it, the Lord of hosts. Okay? If I be your father, where is my honor? Amen. Amen. So, number one is to ensure that you honor God. That's the first step. Are we together? Honor God. If I be your father, where is my honor? Don't like the Lord's prayer says, you know, if we want to pray, the Bible says, which is what? Our Father in heaven. What happens? Hallowed be thy name. That hallowed is a way of honoring him, honoring God. Are we together? Do you know that people that don't actually honor God in this our time and people that have passed? Amen. You know, I remember there was a day we were in court one day. And then there was somebody that the case had been on for some years. I can't remember the number of years. And then they refused to grant the guy bail. He has been in prison. And then one of the lawyers said, Ah, what kind of a thing is this? What kind of grant in bail? Even if they killed God, at least they should let him go. I wrote him and said, Please, okay, in your own interest, don't even say that thing again. Are we together? You know, there are people that joke, that joke like that. I say, In your own interest, please don't even say that thing again. It looks funny, but it's not actually funny. Even if he kills God, for, for five years they should grant him bail. No, no, no. Are we, are we together? You know, that was the same thing that happened to the people that built the Tatangi ship. They said when they were about entering, you know, very powerful ship, the captain looked at the people and he said, welcome to the Tatangi ship, where even God himself cannot sink this ship. <laughs> and very bad for them, when they went to New York, they just jammed an iceberg and the whole thing scattered. Amen. I say amen. I think I'm trying to remember another story. Yeah, there, there was one one particular particular singing group like that. Those years, those years, they called them the Beatles. How many of you heard of them before? The Beatles. You did, all right. Then because then they were so popular and so so famous, then uh, you know the guy came out and he said, Ah, Beatles now is even more popular than Jesus. Are we together? If not for you know, Pastor John, a few of you that are part of them, long time. Some of you, when I say pity, you thought it's a bit too much yourself. You don't even know it's a singing group. Isn't it not so? That is how it is. Amen. Amen. Then I remember another story again. Some young people, you know, they went out. They were about having, a, you know, a get together, a party, a kind of, you know, stuff like that. And then on their way going out, then I think the, the grandma or the mom, one of them, yeah. She said, oh, my, my children, you're about going out to have fun? She said, yes. She said, oh, you know, God go with you. Can I pray for you? She said, no, mama, the car is full. You can see we're already five. I said, God will sit in the boot. Some of you must have heard that story before. Maybe? Then when, uh, when she said that thing, she didn't want to insist, so she let them be. They said on their way to the get, the get together, they had a very fatal accident. All right? And they said all of them died. Are we following? And then, like Juke, they said in the boots, there was a crate of egg where they care for God. The egg, you know how fragile egg is? The egg was intact, nothing happened to it. Where they care for God. There's no space for God except in the boots. Are we together? So, whether jokingly or seriously, just make up your mind that you will honor God in every way. All right? Number one, how do we honor God? You honor God when you acknowledge Him as your source. Are we? Are we together? This is the secret of great people. No matter what they have achieved, no matter how far they have come, they always see God as a reason behind it. Are we? Are we? Are we together? You know, the propensity and the possibilities for you to say, ah, no, it's actually my hard work, it's actually my dedication, it's actually my connection. But no matter what you have achieved, always give it to God. Amen. That's why I love I love the new Kenyan president, you know, when he came into power publicly before the whole world. He said, I'm trying to remember what he said. I think he said something like the people prayed us into power and then he mentioned God, something like that. Are we together? And that's a man that will do well if he continues that way. Are we together? We are living in a time that the system is trying to age out God. Anything God, you know, they keep it out. But no, 
God is not a nuisance to society. God is a necessity. Are we? Are we together? Are we together? And that is how, you know, if you continue this way, no matter what you achieve, that thing will not enter your head. Are we together? For example, maybe you got a promotion. Ah, you got... You know, as one of my mentors would say, he said, carry that promotion letter. You want the promotion letter? Lie down and worship God with it. Are we together? That is how that thing will not enter your head. Amen. You got, you got, you got, you got a billion error. And that's one thing that first fruit does for you. All right? It makes you actually detach yourself from anything material. You see God as your everything, as your all in all. Hallelujah. You know, some of the great men, you know, I, I follow. You know, if you see the great things they have achieved. And then they say, ah, man of God, you try, you, you try, you see this capacity, blah, blah. And they say, oh, it's grace, it's grace, it's God, it's God. That's the language. Are we together? That is how you honor God. Number two, how do you honor God? You honor God in obedience. Deuteronomy 11, 13, when you go home, read that. You honor God in obedience. When you honor God, you will obey God. Are we, are we together? You know, there are many professing, there are Christians, there are this, there are this, there are this, there are that. But actually, Christianity is in obeying God. Hallelujah. Obeying His words. You know, the Bible speaking said, He said, If you are my disciples indeed, He said, You will keep my words. Hallelujah. Or maybe He gives you personal instructions. It may not be easy, but if you want to honor God, you have to go ahead and obey God. Amen. You know, people talk about faith, but do you know that actually faith is actually obeying God? Amen. Faith is not just believing God, faith is actually obeying God. If you read Hebrews 11, okay, the Bible said, you know, Abraham believed God, and by faith, he offered Isaac. Are we together? Abel, by faith, offered a more excellent sacrifice. So faith always goes with, with obedience. There is something you will do. By faith, Moses, when he was of age, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh. So it always goes with obedience. And then, we honor God with our substance. Proverbs 3, verse 9 and 10, the Bible speaking said, honor the Lord with, you know, your substance and with the first fruit of your increase. Are we, are we together? Are we, are we together? Are we together? If God is actually your all, there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing that will be too hard for you to release and let go for you. Amen. I say amen. I say amen. I remember one of my mentors, you know, people were saying, ah, you know, by grace you have come this far, blah, 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 you know, this and that has, that has happened. And then he said, if you look at my life, he said, it's a testament of sacrifice. And that's very true. Very, very true. He said, when he was in the university, every year, you know, I don't know whether he still does it. My state does it. Every year they give a scholarship. All right? He said, every year, as a scholarship is coming, and he said it was, it was only once he did or so. But every scholarship coming, he channeled it to the kingdom and to the work of God. And then today, he's blessed. He's everywhere. <laughs> Hallelujah. One day somebody looked at him and the person gave him three billion era to build a church. And then when he looked at God, he said, God, how comes? He said, you obey me in, in, in those small, small matters I was telling you is why you are where you are today. Hallelujah. And I say God helping us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Quickly, number two, way to honor is to honor your man of God. Somebody say honor your man of God. Amen. The Bible is speaking in 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 12. 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 12. The Bible is speaking said, I think it was uh, Elisha and Elijah. The Bible is speaking said, you know, if you read the story, the story of when God was about to take Elijah up into heaven by a wild wind. And then Elisha cried and he said, my father, my father. All right. And the horsemen of Israel, the chariot thereof, he said, I have seen you. Are we together? That was honor. All right, Elijah, Elisha, they were about the same age, middle so not very far from each other. All right, when Elijah was passing, he just saw the guy doing his business. He threw his clothes at him. He said, oh yeah, follow me. And then I was like, he dropped everything, dropped everything, and then he followed Elijah. All right, so when you hear that word, my father, my father, is a sign of honor. Are we together? Are we together? Let me turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Say neighbor, who is your man of God? Amen. Is very very important. 
Hallelujah. Do you know why I said it's very, very important? Because you see, of course, in the kingdom, we are all equal. Amen. But there are people that by election of grace have been elected by God and they've been able to push more than you can push. Are we together? So there are times, you know, when your own prayer is not able to reach. All right. By the virtue of their pressing in God, they can speak a word and it is done. Amen. How many of you have experienced what I'm saying before? Uh -huh. People can testify. Them see can testify. And a lot of people. Amen. So, quickly, we're trying to rush. Our time is soon be up. So, you know, under that, what you would do is, if you have a man of God over your life, all right, what you would do is you have to respect him. Amen. You have to respect him. And then you have to talk good of your man of God. Amen. You have to talk good of your man of God. I remember to, uh, one of my mentors. Let me not just keep saying it. All right, it's called the Komaya. You know, one of his sons. It was a day he sat down, and then when he sat down there, I think some people also were trying to say some nasty things about you know him and blah blah blah. He said, "For saying that about my father, me and you today, we are not friends again. Just go your way, go my way." Amen. Do you know why? Because if he stays with them and he starts contributing, he will partake in their sins also. And then the grace that has been flowing and working for him will not work anymore. Because what you don't respect, you cannot attract. Are we? Are we together? Are we? Are we together? Are we together? You see, the Bible is speaking. Said the Bible says, you know, without controversy, the lesser is blessed of the greater. Amen. Water does not flow from down to up. It flows from down, from up to down. Is it not, is it not so? Is it not so? So, so, so? so that is how it is. Anytime, anytime you want to, you want to receive, you have to be in humility and then the grace will flow to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, similar to the one we said under God, you have to bless your man of God. First Timothy 5.17, the Bible speaking said, count them of double honor that labor in the word and in doctrine. Are we together? Are we together? Even me talking to you, I can't, I can't live my life without a man of God over my head. It's not, it's not possible. Are we together? As God bless me, I bless him too. There are times, you know, for example, how many of you are in service last week? How many of you are in service last week? All right, very few of you. All right, you saw, you saw what happened last week. All right, I remember you, you were, you know, making exclamation when I was giving prophecy. You know, you said, man of God. All right, but that was not, that was not it before. Are we together? I saw him from afar and I desired a prophetic grace upon his life. All right? And then with following and serving him like joke, like joke. All right? So all, all of the graces, we started contacting one after the other, one after the other, one by one. Are we together? And it happens that way. It happens that way. Are we together? I'm not, I'm not saying so that uh, you will say, uh, you must come and submit to me. No, that's not what I'm saying. Are we together? Whoever you submit to, whoever you believe in, this is what you must do. Are we together? Are we together? Because submission is not, it's not even easy. Somebody looked at me one time and said, I'm man of God. God is leading me to submit to you. Blah, 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 blah. And I asked him, what do you know about me? I, I, I just need to be a pastor. I said, my friend, get out. When you're ready, come back. Are we, are we together? No, no, no. Amen? Because it's not even easy. You will have to watch over the person, pray over the person, his body is your body, his pain is your pain, and, 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 and all those things. Are we together? But it, it, pays, it pays to honor the grace over your life. Amen? And then you have to know what he believes in. For example, in this place, all right, you just know. Let me mention it for you, all right? My spiritual father is Reverend Justice Chikeluba. Are we together? The royal family is in Abuja. And then another of my mentor is in Joss, is Dr. Karis Ami Are we? Are we together? Are we together? Another of my mentor, these two people are called for you. They are people I know I'm close to. If you ask them if they know me, of course they know me. Somebody say, Bishop Oedipo is my father. The name is my father. You are not wrong. It's true. Actually so. But the person I've never seen Oedipo before. <laughs> are we together? These are people that I know and they know me and I can call them anytime. All right? And then, of course, you can have them as your mentors. If, if you are connected to the Greece, maybe you are living fit, of course. The person is your father, your this and your that. Oh, it's not wrong. Are we together? But I'm saying you need to be close to the grace. You can be accountable to, and they can call you to order. Are we? Are we? Are we together? All right. Then another momento is Apostle Joshua Selman. Are we together? That I can't tell you. We are very close. But I know I I saw I saw into that seat, you know. And then another is the Reverend Emmanuel Opara. 
the God ministry, the four church here in Abuja also. Are we together? So you see, these are the people who flow with. They have other mentors, of course. And then is a mentor, but I mean, we saw to those places, but this four have called for you. Joseph Chikeluba, Kari Sami World, and uh, who did I call again? Emmanuel Opara. And then again, Joshua Selman, this four. <laughs> As they follow, they follow, then they go. Are we together? Are we together? So you actually have to know because that's how it should be. Anywhere you enter, that's the vision you have to flow with. For example, in the morning, I worship a redeem. I can't go and stand a redeem now. I make it a new creation. I'm against the vision. Are we together? Because what God is giving me is not what He gave redeem. I have to flow with, flow with the vision. That's the wisdom. Are we together? Anywhere you are. Then finally, you have to honor those that are ahead of you in your field of endeavor. Are we together? You have to honor those that are ahead of you in your field of endeavor. Amen. Do you know why? No man, no man is immune to honor. Do you hear what I said? No man resists honor. What that means is, let me give you this example as I as we close. All right. There's one of my one of my mentors, not just in ministry, right? in business, secular, blah, 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 and everything, you know, during his bad day, you know, I was just thinking, what am I going to do, you know, blah, 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 and then I said, I felt I should just do a portrait and then just, you know, go present to him, and then I just did that casually, you know, like, it didn't mean anything, but that actually meant a lot to him, <laughs> he felt he could trust me, and the prayer he prayed for me, he said, for honoring me, may God honor you back, are we, are we together, and you see, one thing honor does for you and to you is that honor releases favor. Are we together? And what is favor? Favor is access. You have access to a lot of things. Are we together? Are we together? So you see, that's how it is. Maybe in your office, your boss is there. You can just buy wine on a very good day, sir. I just feel like giving you this and watch what will happen. I'm telling you, if there's any deal, it's you they will put there. Are we together? It's not bribery, it's honor. Amen. Somebody bless. So as we arise to pray, you cannot get today's blessing with yesterday's honor. Are we together? Honor has to be always. Honor God always. Honor your man of God always. Honor your superiors always. Stand to your feet as we pray. If you do this, I'm telling you, you are greatness. You are greatness to be five and six. Thank you, Jesus. Just give him praise, 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 give him praise. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. I honor you. Lord, I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. I worship you. I give you the glory. 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 Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for opening my eyes to your word. Say, Lord, I give you praise. 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 Lipo teke ne masha timbra nante lina kaponte lina makaida inta mananso totole liva keta kai kapita lina mande eshete lina konto seketeve leninos makapatanes kete perege dido e pantalata kapatate lete verenino shatena inka baragade salabragadaya can you go out and pray and say love from today help me Lord I will honor you the Bible said, him that honor me, him will I honor also. When you so honor to God, you get honor back in return. Can you pray and say, Lord, help me all the days of my life. I will honor you in my speech. I will honor you in my thoughts. I will honor you in my doings. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, give me grace. Help me to send the grace you have apportioned unto me. And say, Lord, help me. Give me grace to honor the grace over my life. And go ahead and pray. I say, Lord, give me grace of honor. Give me grace of honor. Liba to shate. Mape katomba. Laba katedada. Member ragaton shati na mana mama matela. Imbrane tate na ragato sheke tete tete da baba takai. Raba katenda li na mama makango jere brada. Ipate na lakapate na ta. Rado sheke tete baba la. Lord, I will not despise your grace of my life anymore. Riba don shate na mama mama tala. Raba kate balagato sali begene ya. Lord, I will reverence ma peta kaya. Liba baraka taya. I will stand in awe ma kapeta li na mama mande. Eri 
Rakata basha kamba laga gabari dada. Rakata basha kamba daba baba ria dada baba te. Repa kata bla rakata musa bla ra. Rakata bala kama rana mama maya. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. You remember the story of you know uh, Mordecai, Haman, and the king. The Bible speaking said when the king called Haman, he said, "What shall be done to the man that the king honors? When you honor the king." And the king desires to honor your back. It's a big thing. It's a big thing. You remember the story? They carried, you know, a very expensive horse, and they were carrying uh, Mordecai around. You know, Haman thought he would be the one. But what I'm trying to say is, anytime God honors you, your life will be full of pleasant surprises. You're going to pray and say, Lord, in this week, as I move in this week, because I honor the Lord God of heaven, may I see honor in this week like never before. Part of honor is you you will have glamour. What that means is people will like you. People will love to hear you. They will like to see your face. They will follow by themselves to help you. You are going to pray and say, Lord, in this week I see favor. I see favor. I see favor. Things I do not even bargain or call for. They are calling and coming for me this week in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. The Bible said, as I hear you say, so will I do for you. Pray that prayer finally today. Lipa katrope lene mataga yagada. Eram brata na manzate na ni makaya gada. Lord, in this week, I'm a delightsome land. Ma peta lina magaya gada. Le brando shatena. Ma pita lena baranandi doroske. Le paragado shalima mawanana na mate. Le pragada yata balaga gadon tebele ne ne mauzo gaboya. Raka patenda lina mama matanda gada. Eranda ba shanta na da ba 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 de 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 boso. Rekata panta na da da ba 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 ten. Let me deny. Reka tumba la na na mante le ne 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 mozo. Reka baga da 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 ba 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 ne brede dosh. Eronda ba la ga ga ba ba randa ba ba liya na na mante. Ipa raga donja prekete le ba 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 randa ma. Ipa raga donse liya na 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 mante ga ba ga ba ya. Le praka tumbe le ba raga donja penta la ba 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 liya na na mante. Le kaponta rama mama ne 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 mozo bogo ba ya. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for answers to prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Our prayers are answered in Jesus' name. All right. Very quickly, as you can see, they are not having a meeting here. All right. So our conference is coming up on the eighth and on the ninth. Well, Mr. White was giving me a good news. So is it a bad news now? That they are having a meeting here. That the minister is coming on the eighth, and that is Saturday. We're trying to crack our brain to see what we're going to do because that's, that meeting has to be two days, all right? Feel like people can't just come and we just take the dose for one day, all right? We need to take plenty. So we're trying to put heads together and see. Maybe we're going to make it maybe Friday and then Sunday. I don't know, but we're cracking our brains. So whatever we conclude, we'll get across to you on the group and then through text messages. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. This week shall be fruitful for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm just hearing this now in my spirit. There is somebody, you know, this is what is happening to you. I'm, st I'm seeing this now in my spirit, all right? When, when you wake up, you feel very tired. You didn't do any serious work, but you just feel tired, very, very tired. Very, very tired, very, very tired. The Lord said to tell you that that load over you now is lifted in the name of Jesus. It's lifted, it's lifted. And grace is given you in the name of Jesus. You will do exploit for God this week in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. All right, so please, whatever you have as offering, you just drop it and then we are blessed in Jesus' name. All right, my brother, you're welcome. I'm seeing you for the first time. You're welcome, sir. Who invited you? All right, Sam. Wow, beautiful. You're welcome, sir. So after the meeting, we'll get to know you. Pastor Abraham will talk with you. Pastor Joe, good to see you. Daniel, good to see you. It's been a while. So good to see you. Happy to have you around. All right, so next week we're here again by 2 30. 2 o'clock we start praying and 2 30 the main meeting begins. And I say God help us in Jesus' name. All right, so please keep praying for the conference. Are we together? Keep praying for the conference. We are planning a lot. We are planning a lot. And please, whatever God is laying in your heart to support the conference, Pastor Abraham is there at the back. Please meet him. God will bless us in Jesus' name. Let's share the praise and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide and be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy has followed us all the days of our lives. We are the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen and amen. Shalom, shalom. God bless you.